about how to deal with having a bad day, what do you do when you have a bad day, or things feel hard or difficult to um, go through in your life. And I want you to know that we all have bad days. We all go through the storms in life. We're all faced with hard and challenging things that we can't run away from. If those things were your past, if they're hurts, if they're, um, whether it's a family member passing away, whether it's dealing with depression, um, whatever these feelings of loss or hurt or whatever it is that's making your day bad, know that don't let the hurts of yesterday ruin your hopes for tomorrow. Even if today was a bad day and you have lots of pain and hurt and frustration and things going wrong in your past, don't let that affect your future. You have to speak that positivity, speak that hope into your life and into your day. I had a really not very good day <laughs> today and it started out just a series of hearing news and things going wrong that weren't very good. And I thought, you know what, this is where you have a chance where you can either say, oh my gosh, this day is horrible. And all of a sudden, everything on top of that just becomes another thing added to that horrible day. And soon you're feeling defeated and you're feeling like it's the worst day ever and you just want to go to sleep and you don't want to wake up anymore. But I want you guys to know that you can speak hope and you can speak positivity into your life. If you feel like you're starting to have a bad day, maybe a few things are going wrong, don't say, oh my gosh, I'm having such a bad day. Say, I'm going to try to make this the best day ever. When you speak those words, the power of your words, it's like throwing an anchor out. Like you throw the anchor out and then that pulls the rest of you where you need to stay tethered to. Otherwise, if you start saying, oh, this is bad, what a horrible day, this is a nightmare of a day, all of a sudden it starts spiraling downward and the next thing you know, you're like, this was the worst day of my life. Even if things are going wrong, find something hopeful in that day. Find something beautiful. If you're dealing with a lot of hurt or unforgiveness or things towards somebody or something that happened in your day, always remember that forgiveness is the power and the key that's going to unlock the peace in your heart. When you hold that anger, when you hold whatever it is inside, you are now prisoner to that emotion. You're prisoner to that anger. You're prisoner to all those feelings you have towards that person or thing or whatever it was that happened. Take the power away and say, you know what? I'm going to forgive and I'm going to let go. And the second you do that, the most peaceful feeling is going to wash over you. I know people that have held on for years to this hatred, whether it was somebody they dated or married to, a friend, a family member, and it eats them up inside. And every day you can see they're walking around with this anger that they're saving up because they won't forgive and let it go. And I want you guys to know that you can release that. If you're having a bad day, if somebody said something mean, if somebody cut you off in traffic, if you heard horrible news, if a boyfriend or girlfriend broke up with you, Release those feelings and know that your future is the best thing waiting for you. There's hope and speak those positive things. Claim those things. If you're feeling like it's a bad day, say, no, this isn't going to be a bad day. I'm not letting this ruin my day. I'm not letting this ruin my future. I want you guys to know that you can have an amazing future filled with victory, filled with excitement. Don't live a defeated life where you feel like you're defeated and you feel like you're a victim of all these circumstances. If you guys have seen my story or my video, you know I've been through some things that weren't the most perfect situations in life. And um, a lot of times those are things that people could be bitter about and, and feel like they were a victim of these circumstances. And I want you to know that in everything that I do, I try to think, you know what? This is something that's making me stronger. I'm building character. And usually the people that go through those things are being prepared for something even greater in life. Um, diamonds are created under incredible intense pressure. And that's how some of the most amazing sparkly diamond-like people are created too. They've been through a lot of things that have been just squeezing and compacting and pressurized their whole life, but they come out more beautiful. Just like if you were going to sail on a ship, you'd probably want a captain that had been through the craziest storms and oceans so you'd feel safe knowing he was going to handle your life because he has experience doing it. Same thing is with us. We're getting more experience to be the most amazing person and move up in rank for our future no matter what it is. So if you're having a bad day, you feel like everything's going wrong, know that it's okay. If you are crying all day long tonight, know that in the morning a brand new sun is coming up. It's going to shine on a brand new day full of more hope and more greatness. One of the great key things that you can do is I remember one day I was having a really bad day and I went into, I went into Whole Foods, like my little health food grocery store, and I was walking around and I went up to the cash register and, and somebody said, they said, how are you doing? And I, inside, I was having a horrible day. And for one split second, I thought, you know what? I'm not having that bad of a day. I can walk and I can hear and I can see 
and I have my health and I, I have a hope for a future. And I remember being so thankful in that moment when he asked me, how are you doing? And I had been crying that day and just feeling horrible. And I remember I said, I'm doing fantastic. And in the second that I did that, all that feeling of me having a horrible day washed away. And it's like, all I need to do is speak that and say, I'm fantastic. I said, you know what? I am. These problems aren't going to conquer me. Even if I couldn't see or I couldn't hear, I couldn't walk, those things wouldn't defeat me and conquer me either. What's inside me is beautiful, and it doesn't matter if whoever's trying to ruin my day or whatever news I'm faced with, I can live an amazing life today. I can live an amazing day tomorrow, and I can touch lives, and I can make people smile. And when I did that, the guy said, wow, he said, you never hear people saying they're fantastic. He said, you usually just hear people complaining or saying okay. And in that moment, I decided that this was going to be something beautiful and different. And from now on, whenever I go into that same store, people come in, they're like, oh, hi, and they all know me now. And they're like, you were like a sunshine experience today. You were a breath of fresh air that came in, and I feel better for having talked to you. And if you can leave a smile on somebody's heart, even if you're having a horrible, depressed day, Give somebody else a smile. Pour some love out on somebody else and watch how it comes back to you too. It's like that boomerang love effect. You throw it out and it'll come right back to you. So no matter what ha has happened in your day, know that you are amazing. You have a great future. And these things that seem like they're hard and awful and why is all this bad stuff happening? Know that it is making you a better person. It's going to give you the most amazing success story you will ever have. The more things that go wrong, I think, you know what? When I tell somebody my success story later, when I've made it in life where I want to be, it's going to be one awesome success story. And I want you to know whatever you're going through, I'm cheering you on. I've been through things, probably all different than what everybody has. But know if you're feeling depressed, say in this second, say, no, this is where it stops. The depression is going to end. I'm going to live a life of hope and excitement. I'm going to speak hope and excitement in my life to people I see, everybody all around me. And this morning that started out awful where I was crying and overwhelmed and didn't know what to do, in one moment I changed and I said, this isn't going to be how my day is going to be. I'm going to speak joy and happiness to everybody I talk to. And you know what happened when I did that? When I answered the phone instead of being like, hello, thinking I was so depressed and my day was ruined, I said, oh, hi. And the more excitement I got, the more they got excited, and the more it pulled me out of that funk I was in. And by the end of the afternoon, I thought, you know what, this is really amazing. I started off this day so miserable, wanting to cry, and so frustrated I couldn't even cry. And now I feel like that joy was stirred back up in my life. So stir that joy up in your day today. And if you don't feel it, watch this video a bunch of times so I can tell you, let it be there. Your future is so bright and sparkling and each of these tight compression things is compressing you like a diamond to be even more sparkly. One of the things I always say is, a shattered mirror reflects more light than a perfect one. And all of us that have broken hearts and shattered dreams and shattered hopes and emotions, we can reflect and sparkle more light out in the world and our futures can be more sparkly and bright than you ever dreamed of. I hope hearing this today helped cheer up your day and encourage you. Know that I love you so much and each of the emails I read are so precious to me and I wish I had time to write each and every one of you. It's so hard when you get 30,000 emails a day. I can't, I don't have enough time in the day to respond to everybody. So I hope this reaches all the people that have written me letters and maybe you're just having a bad day and need to hear some kind of word of encouragement. Know that I love you, I'm sending you a hug. If you're feeling lonely, I feel the same way too. <laughs> and I will be your friend. Doesn't matter if we've ever met, our hearts and our spirits can connect. And I hope you guys have an awesome and beautiful day. Remember you're more beautiful than you know, more talented than you think, and more loved than you imagine. Have an awesome day guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.